Hi, I'm Cookie, and I got my start as a 17th century chimney sweep. Four players. Bring it. You all take care of those screws now. If you think an opponent doesn't know the answer, hit your screw button, and you'll force them to answer immediately. If they miss it, you win big. And your wrong answer of the game is being sponsored by... Giant Kitchen Appliances! Huge, elegant, completely impractical Giant Kitchen Appliances! Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. <laughs> and right this way. Get ready, time for question! One! To begin with, kiss my mascot. Which of these mascots is often seen with a bumper shoot? Mr. Peanut, the Morton Salt Girl, Player 2, who gets the screw? Here's screwed Player 3, 5 seconds to pick an answer. Now, bumper shoot is another term for an umbrella, which is a classic part of the Morton Salt Girl mascot. But you know what she needs more than a bumper shoot? A little common sense. She's spilling that salt everywhere. Hate to break the news to you, player two. Oh, mama gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. Tell you so. Say hello to Rift Shop. I'm in favor of musicians who use symbols in their names. Pink uses the exclamation point, Questlove uses a question mark, and U2 uses a horseshoe. Hmm? You sure about that? Okay, I'm told that it's actually just a U. Anyway, if Macklemore wanted to shorten his name using a symbol, what would be the best choice? Macla this, Macla this, Macla this, or Macla that? <laughs> This is the greater than symbol, so it roughly translates to Macla Moore. <laughs> but I've heard that thrift shop song enough times, I'm ready for some Mackle Less. Am I right? Dance with me, Disco 3. Here we have Fighting Fire with Love. And it's time for a four alarm dis or dat. Player 2. You're in last place, so I choose you to play this this or that. I'm going to read off seven things, and for each one, tell me if it's an online dating site or a movie about firefighters. If it's a dating site, press the square button. If it's a firefighter movie, press the circle button. Now, the rest of you need to hear this. Make your selections before player two, because if player two gets it wrong, everyone who got it right will split the winnings. Cool, let's do it. A blaze. Tinder. Scorched. Spark. Backdraft. Heat feel. Firestorm. so close to perfect, I bet you feel like an ash hole. I don't use dating sites, I meet girls the old-fashioned way by starting a fire in my house and hoping one of them will save me. This one's called, Here's Egg on Your Pantaloons. If while cleaning up the remains of Humpty Dumpty, all the king's horses and all the king's men got covered in his albumen, what might they later ask their dry cleaner? Can you get egg yolk out of silk? Player one, who do you want to screw? The screw is a new player two, five seconds to make a choice. Nobody picks that one. Player one, that was a successful screw. Why not pick up a few more bucks? Players one, three, and four. 
The white of an egg is its albumen. <laughs> or as Humpty Dumpty calls it, My guts! My guts! They're everywhere! Ah! My fingers! And now, fortune favors the crave. Oh man, I'm starving. Luckily, I stole 18 fortune cookies on my last trip to Walks Up. Cookie, fortune, cookie, fortune, bread. Cookie, fortune, cookie, messes And my fortune says, birds of a feather flock together. Okay, if that's true, then which of these bird pairs probably wouldn't hang out with each other? Donald and Daffy, Woodsy and Hedwig, Big Bird and Tweety Bird, or Woodstock and Foghorn Leghorn? <laughs> Players one and four. Whoa. Whoa. Player two. What? No. Player three. Foghorn Leghorn is a rooster, and the Peanuts Woodstock is a tiny yellow bird of undetermined species, but definitely not a chicken. So you'd expect Foghorn Leghorn to hang out with other roosters and Woodstock with other tiny yellow birds. But instead, they both hang out almost exclusively with dogs. Cartoons are just so unrealistic. That's all we got for round one. And player three is in the lead. But for how long? Don't forget, in round two, all the cash is doubled. And don't forget, the wrong answer of the game is still out there waiting for you. Let's move on, shall we? This one's known as Leonardo Decapitated. If it were based on the original Beowulf story, which part would not exist in the Martin Scorsese film The Beowulf of Wall Street? Leonardo DiCaprio is Grendel, Margot Robbie is Grendel's mother, Matthew McConaughey is Grendel's father, or Jonah Hip. Players one and three? Um, really? <coughs> Players two and four? Wait for it. Wait for it. <coughs> Smart people choose this. Grendel's father is not a character in Beowulf, so he isn't in the Beowulf of Wall Street. His story was cut out by Scorsese in order to trim the film down to a svelte 4 hour and 58 minute running length. Question 7! Why not try... Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, Yo. or Uranus? Nickname of star NFL cornerback Charles Tillman. Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? Player three? Get out of here! Seriously, get out of here. Players two and four? Player one. Charles Tillman, NFL cornerback who's played for the Chicago Bears, is more commonly known as Peanut Tillman. And if you don't think Peanut is an intimidating nickname, just ask the millions of people around the world who suffer from peanut allergies. Peanuts are scary as sh**. Follow me down to the sea. Oh, Take a good look at... Revenge is a dish best administered rectally. Oh, my butt. oh, don't mind that moaning. That's just Bob the producer in the bathroom. He got back from his trip to Mexico the other day, and he's experiencing a tiny case of Montezuma's revenge. Hang in there, Bob. Oh, God, this is the worst day of my life. Oh. Try not to clog the toilet. Considering who it's named for, what could Bob the producer scream while experiencing his tiny case of Montezuma's revenge? Curse you, King of the Incas! Starn you, King of the Aztecs! Blast you, King of the Mayans! Or damn- Players two and three? Uh-oh. Ah! Player one. No, but I hate him too. Oh, I hate everybody right now, especially my own body. Ah! Player four? Montezuma's Revenge is a reference to the Aztec King Montezuma II, who was defeated by the Spanish conquistadors. 
Hey, Bob, I appreciate your work ethic, but maybe you should be doing this at home. Yeah, I'd rather not do something this disgusting to my own toilet. May I introduce... Every Day I'm Buffering. Because the title contains a prime number, what would be the most appropriate movie to stream via Amazon Prime? 8 Mile, 21 Jump Street, 47 Ronin, or 2001 A Space Odyssey? <laughs> Hate to disappoint you, but... Wait, no I don't. <laughs> Player 2? <laughs> Player 3? A prime number is a number that can only be divided by itself in one. And for some reason, zero and one don't count. I don't make up the rules. Blah, blah, blah. Math, math, math. 47 is the only prime number. Well, it took a while, but I finally came up with parameters that would make it acceptable for me to sit down and watch a Keanu Reeves movie. It's time for... Jingle Jangle. Who played the lead in Django Unchained? Jamie Foxx, Jamie Foxx, Jamie Foxx, or Jamie Foxx? Players 2 and 4? Sweet dreams. Players 1 and 3? No, now you're just being silly. It's so obvious. Jamie Foxx's last name has two X's in it. The first X is silent. Welcome to the attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 2,000 if you're right. But if you're wrong, you lose 2,000. And don't forget... Remember the clue! It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. My band has a great fictional sound. In which film can I find these fake bands? Look. Tony Pancheesi, owner of DIY Spaghetti Emporium, where DIY stands for do it yourself. I mean it. I don't have any staff, so you're doing everything in this restaurant for yourself. And my name isn't Tony Pellucci. You're waiting your own table. You're cooking your own meal. And buddy, if you got time to lean, you got time to clean, capiche? So now you think your night's over because your family's done eating, huh? We close at 11.30. 
So get your ass back out there and wait on that two-top in Section 4. Nobody ducks out early on me. Come on, pedestrian. Have you seen the state of those bathrooms? One of the women's toilets has a clog that could choke a horse. So if you're ready for a home-cooked Italian meal and earn half the minimum wage, come on down to DIY Spaghetti Emporium. Ask for me, Rachel Hanrahan. Ugh, don't you hate going to the movies by yourself? I mean, I do. We have so much in common. I mean, maybe you and I should sometimes... I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, whatever. I guess there aren't any good movies showing right now anyway, so... Never mind. Forget I said anything. That was stupid. <laughs> this message paid for by people who think you and Tina should go out on a date sometime just to see how it goes. That's so embarrassing. I did not put them up to that. Also paid for by Tina.